So, this, this gentleman is uh, quite the fisherman, but had a little accident this morning here where we got a, a fishing lure that uh, actually embedded in the face, and we got two, two um, hooks that are embedded here, and he's got one here that broke off. Uh, there we go. All right. Pain. That that I expect a little pain. What'd you do? We just, so we just numbed you up numbed a little bit more. Where's the needle? It's uh, exactly what I was trying to do too, but the thing just keeps twisting. It's working its way back out, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's the other option of covering the barb with another needle, but I've never been able to get that to work for me. But. It's getting closer, though. Yeah, it's... Does it hurt? There we go. So you can have it. We'll leave it here. You can have it. Take it home, I guess. The problem with this is you can't do it at the same time because they're in opposite directions. Okay. Um. It hurts? Don't flinch, okay? So basically, what you're you're just making the hole bigger. No, because right? I'm, I'm trying to get the the spur. Yeah. Um, not to be caught. There you go. You see that? Because it it's really this. Yeah. And so with the needle, you can release a little bit of that band yeah, that was yeah, exactly. inside. It's, yeah, yeah. I mean, they talk about putting the needle directly on top of the of the. Uh, hook. Like a, a needle puncture like this should heal with that really. Oh, absolutely. Um, but, issues, but but sometimes as far as like capping the hook so they can bring it on out. I mean, the the bur the bar, but um, I've never had that really work for me either. But yeah. There we go. All right. <laughs> now we got to put on and off. Um, we're going to irrigate this a little bit. I think the hooks will we'll just see if we have a angiocathin here. We'll just squirt some shade on All right, I just hope Dad is out. Mm -hmm. 